Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. So, we got a preview for the 1.05 patch. So Tekken put out a tweet earlier today and they've basically just gone over what is going to be in the patch. Like, they've done an overview of what is actually going to be in the patch. And I thought it'd be a good idea to just go over some of these things because some of the things mentioned, as you can probably see already, uh, the community has been talking about quite a lot and uh, they've been quite big issues with Tekken 8 recently. Uh, specifically, homing throws, heat dashes, heat bursts, um, and combo damage. Um, and they've mentioned all these things in these tweets, or in this thread, right? So I'm going to go over them, um, just talk about them a little bit. Um, I know that I haven't been posted for the past two weeks. I have been streaming. Um, just a quick plug, if you enjoy my content, maybe you want to come and watch the stream, chill out. Uh, watch me rage at ranked. Uh, I'm currently trying my best to get Kazia to Emperor. Um, it's very difficult, as I'm sure a lot of you Kazias already know the issues with Kazia at the moment. But the good news is they've actually mentioned Kazia in this. But so without further ado, let's just go over the tweets. But just be aware that content is still coming. I've still got content coming out. I got Jin to Emperor. I'm going to post that on YouTube as well. Um, and when this patch drops, of course, I'm going to do um, a breakdown of the patch and the patch notes and all the rest of that good stuff. So stay tuned for that um, when it comes around. Fighters, in patch 1.05, we will address issues that are often brought up by our players. This is actually a really good thing. Without even going into the rest of it, it's really good that they're actually listening to us. So it seems like the things that all of us are complaining about, they are listening to and addressing those things. So even without going into anything else, that is a good sign, right? Some characters aren't able to fully showcase their unique strengths in Tekken 8. Characters like Kazuya, Paul, and Raven will be buffed to make them more relevant. So, the issues with Kazuya, right? I'm sure all of you guys know about the issues being um, brought up by a lot of Kazuya players, right? His down foot one hitbox is really clunky, um, leading to a lot of combo drops, um, kind of out of the blue, right? Situations where down forward one, down forward two should hit. Is just currently whiffing sometimes, just randomly. Uh, if like you're slightly off axis, it'll it'll randomly just whiff. Uh, also, his combo damage is quite low compared to the rest of the cast. So I'm assuming, or I'm hoping that things like these will be um, buffed because I've been playing a lot of Kazuya recently, and those two things stick out like a sore thumb with this character. They really do stick out like a sore thumb. So. My personal uh, hope is that they will buff those things with Kazuya. I think he's actually a pretty solid character apart from those things. And um, the combo damage being buffed would actually be a buff, right? But the inconsistencies in his combos, to me, isn't really anything to do with balance. It's just consistency within his combos, right? Um, and nobody wants combos that are super inconsistent. Even if you resort to doing like more reliable combo routes, just because of the inconsistencies with down for one down for two uh, makes it really annoying to play this character sometimes just because of those issues right so uh paul i don't really know that much about paul i very rarely see a paul and raven uh will be buffed as well these are just examples of course more characters will be buffed and, uh, and nerfed in the balance patch but they're just giving us some examples here um raven i hate going against raven because i have no clue what he's doing all the time and i'm sure a lot of you feel the same but uh, if you know what he's doing, apparently he's very, very weak. Um, I will just have to take people's word on that because I actually don't know that myself. Um, but if any of you guys know, then do let me in the comments. Like if Raven is super weak, if you're like a Raven main, because I have no idea. And uh, also let us know like what things you'd actually like to be buffed. Um, what things you'd like to be changed with the character. Also, they said... Some nerfs from previous patches will be readjusted to broaden the scope of gameplay. So I'm assuming things like, um, I don't know, Shall use Hypnotist 3 only change to minus 13, or things like this, maybe they are re readjusting those things, uh, nerf them a bit more, or they'll revert some nerfs that were kind of unwarranted for certain characters. Uh, maybe Kazia's Heaven's Gate, who knows? Um, it seems like they're going to do that. They're going to readjust some of the nerfs that they did uh, previously, um, which is good that they're like, they're not just going to go, um, right, we've nerfed this, now move on. It doesn't matter if it wasn't adjusted well enough, right? We saw as a Senna's 
while running 3-2 get nerfed like three times. So it's a good thing I think they'll like look at the feedback of the nerfs they've previously done and change them um, when needed, right? Or readjust them when needed. So I think that's pretty good. Moving on. And this is... Um, actually, no, it's the one here that's really important, but we'll get to that. Um, some moves and combos are disproportionately strong. In addition to character moves adjustments, heat dashes and throws and stage gimmicks will see the damage scaling recalibrated. This is very good. This is done to prevent situations where combo damage can become excessively high. So, on some stages, uh, like Ortis Farm, uh, the, are the underground arena, um, the stage gimmicks being uh as high damage as they are lead to like some crazy damage combos um and some characters like um or also on um into the subconsciousness um king if he hits you with a heat smash um you're basically just dead on that stage um some of the some of the combo damage on certain stages with stage gimmicks become like ridiculously high like obscenely high so i'm glad that they're addressing this um heat dash scaling um is pretty good. I don't know if they're talking about chip damage here. It'll be interesting. And throws is an interesting one. Because to me, throws... Maybe they're talking about um, like back turn throws and side throws and whatever. Because they do way more damage than regular throws. Um, but they talk about combo damage. So I, I assume they're really talking about throws that floor break, right? Like King's... Um, like King's Muscle Buster or, and throws like that, right? Which, which break the floor and um, lead to some crazy combo damage. Like I was talking before about his Heat Smash. You can also do that with a lot of King's throws, right? So uh, I assume a lot of this is actually directed at King when they talk about throws. Um, and like combo damage on stage gimmicks and stuff like that. Um, so I think that's good. Toning down is, in my opinion, the way to go um, with Tekken 8. Just to kind of polish the game a bit more. Make it easier to deal with, like, as a defender. Um, when you're getting bombarded with plus frames, like, 90% of the time. So, that's good. Also, because the combos are so strong. Basically, the way the rounds go right now is... You combo somebody. Get them to the wall. Uh, do your heat burst. Finish your wall... Do a wall combo, right? Finish your wall combo. And then they wake up into, like, a heat dash... Uh, or like a plus frame move into a heat dash and then you're like minus 17 18 and you have to take a 50 50 and because of the heat dash chip damage as well you're like basically one mix up from being dead after all of that so um that is like makes the rounds just kind of crazy on it's like it's kind of like who launches who first and then the round's over a lot of the time right it puts so much pressure on the person who got com who just got comboed once uh, to make a comeback um so i'm, I'm glad that they're um they're nothing combo damage um because it is quite crazy at the moment this is probably the biggest um thing of what they've actually said in this thread aggressiveness is a bit too rewarding making it hard to defend yourself effectively this is very true wall staggers from heat dashes will be removed and the damage of heat bursts and throws will be nerfed this is done to increase the importance of sidestepping and three-dimensional plays now this part I had to read like three times and I still I don't know if it's um, an issue with translation or what because th because this doesn't obviously tell you like what is going to be changed. Obviously the patch notes aren't out right. This is just a Twitter thread but um, let's just go over it. Wall staggers from heat dashes will be removed right. So wall staggers when you do a heat dash against the wall it wall staggers right and now you're like minus as a defender you're like minus 17 18 right. So what I just talked about with the combos, where they combo you to the wall, do a heat burst, and then do a heat dash, you're like minus 17, 18. Uh, it basically just removes a lot of the uh, defensive plays that you can do, right? You can't sidestep. Um, you can't call out like somebody doing a really slow move because usually heat dashes are like plus five um, on block. So if somebody does like a really, really slow move, obviously it's very risky, but you can, you know, dick jab or something um, or try and sidestep, right? Usually you don't really sidestep um, below like minus five. If you're like minus five or more, you don't really sidestep, but um, it does add like more defensive capabilities if you're, if they, if they remove the wall crush, right? On the heat dash, because at the moment heat dash is so OP at the wall uh, because of the wall stagger, right? Um, and damage of heat bursts and throws will be nerfed. I never saw an issue with the damage of heat burst and throws. To be honest, 
my big issue with heat burst and throws personally was that they are homing right you can't step them and the phantom range of the heat burst is crazy right so the, the only defensive strat against heat burst is to try and like position yourself exactly the right distance away get somebody to whiff and be the exact right distance away to be able to whiff punish them right if you're slightly too far they'll be able to recover before you can whiff punish them and if you're too close obviously you get hit by the heat burst or you have to block the heat burst right and they're plus one i suppose you could argue that the heat burst damage was a bit high right it's like 10 damage i think um and throws will be nerfed like the damage of throws that's an interesting one because to me like generic throws and command throws they the damage isn't really the issue is literally just the fact that they're homing right it's a 3d game we want to be sidestepping we want to be able to like counter throws and heat bursts and um it kind of nullifies like the defensive plays that you can actually do uh when somebody has these um resources available right um, but they also said this is done to increase the importance of sidestepping in three-dimensional plays so hopefully this is like a translation error and what they actually mean is not only the damage of heat burst and throws but the homing properties right so if you time a sidestep really well and you read you make a hard read that somebody's gonna do a heat burst you can sidestep the heat burst and whiff punish right and the same with throws right you can sidestep throws which gives you a lot more uh defensive counterplay right to throws and heat bursts um my i really really hope that they change this because my number one big issue with the game right now is throws being homing because they're counter hit even though the counter hit throw window got nerfed right and it's now 14 frames instead of 10 that you have to actually break the throw even though they got nerfed like this um the fact that they are homing and they're still counter hit is kind of crazy right characters like king it's hard to sidestep like even if you get hit by the throw right you can still break it but um the fact that he has 10 frame counter hit homing throws like a giant swing um which becomes obviously more difficult to break on a homing throw becomes kind of crazy right because he gets so much damage from that um so i'm really hoping that heat burst and throw is they nerf the, the tracking on them right or they nerf the homing properties so that you can actually sidestep these that's really what my my biggest hope for this whole patch to be honest as well as like balancing and you know buffing kazia and and nerfing uh really like s tier characters i'm hoping that they uh that they remove the homing properties on heat burst and throws i know i've said that like 10 times already but <laughs> as you can guess is as you can see if i'm be talking about this this is my biggest issue with the game right now um heat burst and throws um while significant balance adjustments were made on patch 1.4 and will be made on patch 1.05 a similar large scale adjustments will not happen during the remainder of season one patches from july onward will focus on un fixing unintended move behaviors and bug fixing so this is the big one right so this and the may patch they are the big ones right they're the big ones so so after this one we won't see any large scale balance patches or um like changes to system mechanics but so this is going to be the big one so i'm uh i'm very happy personally i'm very happy that they talked about all the things that um the community has been talking about hopefully again heat burst and throws won't be uh, won't be homing anymore that's my biggest hope um but we'll have to wait and see um the patch notes are coming on the 10th i think they said no yeah patch notes is coming on the 10th the update's coming on the 11th right so um look out for a video from me on the uh on the 10th or the 11th going over the patch notes uh we'll go over them and um review them and break them down and see what's what with all the characters and the uh, and the changes because there are going to be a lot of changes just from reading this there are going to be a lot of changes so um yeah that's going to be it for the video hope you guys enjoyed i uh, hope you guys are as excited as me uh for these changes Tekken 8 right now is in a good place. It's in a solid place. But with these changes, and hopefully these changes, heat burst and throws, um, Tekken is going to be in a really, really good place. So I'm super excited. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one.